And you've remained really good mates with so many people on the street as well. Oh, yeah, because I was there for so long, 20-odd yeah. like years. And uh, and when I go up there, when uh, if I'm on touring or whatever, I always go in for a cup of tea and uh, to see the cast and crew. Because we all grew up together, of, of course. Of course, absolutely. And as yeah. you said, 30 years is a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. We would love to see you back. Do you think there's... Because they've still got friends. You yeah. know, the characters still got friends yeah. on the street. Well, it would be nice. I mean, I, I would love to. I mean, I'd it's, love it's, you back. It's, it's no, it's no secret. I'd mm. love to go back and do some more. And if that opportunity arises, uh, then brilliant. I mean, the irony of it is, is that a lot of people. One of the main excuses for people leaving is that they'd like to leave to spend more time with their family. Um, I'd have to sort of go back to spend more time with mine because I'm always on the road. So. You are. No, yeah. you, you really are, actually, mm. because you went, you bounced from Coronation Street and you've never stopped working. No. You're on stage, not just in this country, yeah. but all over the world. I've been everywhere, yeah. You have? Yeah. Uh, I did uh, Chitty in uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang in, in the UK and Singapore. Fantastic. Which was just amazing. Yeah, what an incredible uh, opportunity to do all of that, too. Yeah, it was and great. And right now, it's the commitments. I'm doing the commitments. And How's moment. that going? That is brilliant. So I know the stage show was here in, in yeah, London, but yeah. you're going to be touring all over? All over the UK, yeah, OK. Wow. So when we go up to Manchester, of course, I will go and have a cup of tea with I my coronation. I should think my so. Place. I yeah. should think so too. Yeah. But you've done that one, of course, and you mentioned Chitty Chitty Bang yeah. Bang. Um, you've done so many Chicago. other shows. Chicago. Yeah, all we of these will rock big, you. big shows. Yeah. Great big shows. Yeah. And do you, I mean, is that something that you, I know, I know how much you loved working in telly, yeah. but do you get more satisfaction from working there? Because you said it was like a party and that brilliant audience well, the thing with, with theatre is instant. You know straight away if you're doing the right thing because the audience are reacting. With things like Corrie, uh, you, you, you shoot something uh, and you, you forget all about it because you're on to the next storyline. And you might not get a reaction for four weeks when you're walking down the street and someone say, oh, I saw you last Still night. Sure, of course. And, and you forget, you know, you just forget what you've done. But with <laughs> theatre, it's, it's, it's live. It's right away, of course. Yeah. But when you're out and about and people, because obviously people still remember you. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course they do. But when they come up and, and, and talk to you, um, you, you are actually, it's, it's almost like, you know, music as well you're a big big part of people's lives yeah I, I, I love it actually yeah I think it'd be very churlish and, and, and a bit arrogant if you suddenly sort of try to deny that large yeah, body of work that you've done I'm very proud of it I'm very proud of my my time with Coronation Street I'm very proud of the stories that that we did uh, with the writers and the other actors. Uh, and I find that people, uh, uh, it's a calendar now, it's a life calendar thing. They go, yeah. I remember you doing that storyline because I just got married or we just yeah. had a baby. Or, and, I, and I think that's very, uh, it's very humbling, actually. It doesn't really happen with many other shows, no. to be honest with you. It really, no. really doesn't. It, no. it's, it's a wonderful thing. What I like about you is you've been very honest about, you know, the ups and downs and you of your yeah. life. Yeah. You've come through some really tough times. Mm. I know you had uh, tough times with alcohol. You've yeah. come through all of that. Your wife's been such a rock as well hasn't yeah, well, she in the she, family she is amazing yeah. she really is amazing while i'm off playing dress up around the world <laughs> Um, she she's actually trying to make a difference, and the company that we, the charity that we run, which is uh, Kennedy Street uh, CIC, which is a, a non-for-profit company, and we try to put back into into the community. Uh, and we uh, there was a documentary out about uh, alcoholism, which its heart was in the right place, but it was all about the problem mm. and not about the answer. Of course. So we decided, well, we we want to make another film, we, but we want to do everything about the, the the we want to do a bigger film about about the 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 answers. Is this Recovery Street. Recovery Street. Recovery. We turn on the news, or we've got a camera crew around uh, Manchester, Birmingham, Liverpool, and chucking out time in the pubs. So the the, uh, the disease is always getting pressed, mm. but no one ever talks about the recovery, and 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 it's out there. And there are millions of people in this in this country, millions that have been through the same thing that I have, who uh, who now are in recovery mm. and leading happy and full lives. You know, so yeah. why can't we concentrate on them? No, that's great. It's great what you're doing. I think it's an absolutely brilliant thing to mm. do. It really is. And I would just wonder with your daughters and you doing what you do, mm. and they've obviously seen you on stage and seen you flying in this flying car and chitty yeah. chitty bang bang. Do they are they starstruck? Do they want to be on stage? Do you They're think? a little bit um, interested yeah. in it, um, but I did explain to them. I said, "Look, Daddy's very lucky. Yes, Daddy's at the kind of the top or the near the top end of this industry." Uh, and you know, well, I you've get, never stopped working, no. Kevin. You haven't. Yeah. Now, look, I have to say because <laughs> people have phoned in <laughs> because yeah. you've got a tag yeah. on your jeans. I'm, well, I what's bought, going on here? I bought these jeans <laughs> to come on the telly yesterday, right? <laughs> Did two shows yesterday. Got to the hotel this morning, put my jeans on. I went, what's, what's that? that? <laughs> well, 
Hey, I, I thought am, you were tagged. I am from Manchester, so I suppose it's... Uh... <laughs> no, don't say that. So they, they just forgot to take they it off. To it's off. not that you ran out of the shop without no, seeing no. Mr Kevin Kennedy. Honest John Lewis, I didn't steal him. Because <laughs> you've got to get a special doofer to get yeah. them off. That's I the know, thing. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Oh, no. We'll try and sort that out, yeah. for goodness sake. But you, be careful you don't go shopping today, because you'll beep. <laughs> You beep it in and out. Well, they didn't it's... beep when I ran out of the sh when oh. I went when I left the shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joy to talk to you. And I you would, always. I would love to see you back in Cody. Good luck with the commitments. We'll Thank put you. all the dates on our website so everybody Thank knows exactly where you are. Because um, it's a cra you're right. It's a cracking show, cracking show, especially coming up to Christmas. It's really yes, good. it's going to be fun. We're in, we're in Glasgow at Christmas. Oh, enjoy, so enjoy. Yeah. Great to see you. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.